Between the hum of cars and buses, masses of people commuting between classes, and busy streets that comprise a college campus, something seems to go unnoticed. What would this scene look like as a disabled student? How would things be different? To put things into perspective, consider this timeline illustrating the most monumental human rights acts that have defined the modern world for students with disabilities. The Education for All Handicapped Children Act of 1975 required all public schools to accept federal funds which would provide equal access to education. Next, the Tech-Related Assistance for Individuals with Disabilities Act in 1988, which was most notable for the Deaf President Now movement at Gallaudet University. 1990 saw the passing of the ADA, the most notable act in the history of disability rights, prohibiting discrimination based on disability. And most recently, the HEOA, which strengthens the educational resources of colleges and universities. But the acts only go so far. What's it like living in it? I never felt particularly excluded in real time as I was going through the experience. However, I think that's because on some level, I had become frankly accustomed to being left out a little bit. I was on a very large campus, so there was a lot of walking to do. And obviously the more walking to do, the more different streets and sidewalks, et cetera, that you're gonna encounter and a lot of terrain to try to essentially memorize. So it was challenging. Um, I did find that I needed to use my walking stick, my guide stick um, pretty frequently, especially in the evenings um, to deal with you know, broken sidewalks and those sorts of things. It was a very different time um, in terms of awareness of persons with disabilities and in terms of persons with disabilities having a voice that was being listened to. Um, I'm not saying that persons with disabilities were being ignored, not by any stretch of the imagination, but we as a society didn't have such a priority on recognizing those minority groups, acknowledging them, and then working to ensure that their quality of life was the same as those who were considered to be, quote, you know, normally bodied. For most people, it's just a matter of trying to figure out the best way to set up your schedule so that you have time to get from one place to the other. Um, I think in the last like 10 years or so, it's gotten, the technology has gotten much better. It's still got a ways to go in terms of some of the things that they could make more universal, I guess, in it, so that it would take less specialization to figure out how to to learn how to run it and I guess make it simpler for people to run without having to have a ton of experience.